Hello everyone and welcome. This is Back to Back episode two. With me, Anya O'Grady. And me, Paris Brooks. This is a new show. Where some of Midnight's favorite guests get the chance to chew the fat. And ask each other questions. But yeah, so anyway, so the question is, so be careful about, you know, how you answer it, but be honest. Okay. Uh, but bear in mind, it's, it's gonna hold some weight. Okay. Um, so yeah, the first question I was wondering is, are you single? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been single for? <laughs> How long have you been single for? Almost a year now, since April. Yeah, how's yeah. that going for you? It's going good, actually. Yeah. Freedom. 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 I like it. <laughs> Just going to change the Ooh, mood then. He's a smooth operator. <laughs> I like that we're both wearing red as well. <laughs> this is as if we, uh, we planned this. <laughs> we spoke, but we didn't. We need to stop doing this, Paris. <laughs> I know. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's good to hear that... Um, I mean, you're single, which is great. And mm -hmm. You're having fun with yourself. I'm, myself, I've just I've been single for eight months now, and it's you know what, it's, mm. it's it's the first time I've been actually happy with it. I'm just like, you know what, just love yeah. being me, and I don't need anyone else. No. I'm starting to realize that, mm -hmm. and it's great because I think we're at a time now where we need to figure out who we are. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We need to figure out who we are, and it's like people are telling us what to think and what to believe, and who you are, who I am. It's like, well, actually, no, let me figure it out for myself. I don't need anyone else. No. We need to not be afraid to take that time and, you know, sort shit out. Uh-huh. Really. Only one it's... person knows who you are, and that's you. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Excuse the French. <laughs> 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 so uh, what's for uh, starters? So what's for starters? Uh, <laughs> I did actually, we tried to get you some flowers on the way. Uh, I was in a bit of a rush this morning, so I didn't manage to get them. And then we went to get some and they didn't have any oh. um so the gesture was there that's perfect i'm uh, allergic to flowers anyway so oh, are you? yeah that's fine well i've got hay fever so all oh, right okay i'd probably be sneezing i'd be a mess if you got me flowers if you got me flowers <laughs> right so again i i knew yeah the universe has worked in our favor <laughs> don't get on your flowers because she'll be sneezing everywhere oh, yes i will it's not a pretty sight <laughs> so if i was to have a three course meal what would it be hmm you know what, this is something that I've been toying with because my, my signature dish mm -hmm. or dishes um, would be, I'd go for like um, Caribbean flavour to start with. So mm -hmm. I'd go chicken wings, mm -hmm. I'd go jerk chicken wings for the starters. Uh, and then for the, for the main, what I'd do is like a, a fish pie. Fisherman's pie. I've yes, perfected nice, it. Nice. Um, so that was, that was always like, my go-to. And then the sweet? Yeah, yeah, and then the sweet would be a. I was getting into that, which is the most important <laughs> bit, right? I can see you hanging there. I was like, like okay. yeah, sod them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Um, Nutella cheesecake. Oh, yes. Never had mm. Nutella cheesecake. Well, nice. If this goes well, I mean, but the the, the the issue that I've had is that now I don't eat meat anymore. So the two starters and the starters and the main, I wouldn't. Yeah, well, anywhere. I'm the same, so we'd have to figure that one out. Salad, salad it is. Straight, <laughs> well, straight over to the we, cheesecake. We could just go cheesecake, cheesecake, cheesecake. Cheesecake, yeah. Because there's going to be another. I'm, I'm happy fair. with that, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's see, we're, so we're planning date number two already. So this is going smooth. so well. This is going it. so well. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you cook? Uh, I can actually. I'm yeah, getting yeah, there. Yeah. I like a bit of fun in the kitchen. I'm, Testing out a bit of vegan stuff at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be good, trying to be healthy, but exciting. Hmm. Getting to know actual food, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I've got quite a few questions I want to ask you, but I'm just keeping it fun and silly. Like, yeah, okay. that's, that's how I roll, so. Fun and silly. Mant mm. Mantra. For mantra. That. Okay. Tell me a funny story about yourself or something funny that's happened recently. Ah, oh, something that's happened. Some funny story or something that's happened recently. <laughs> I put you right on the spot. I know I've seen something with, that happened to you recently that was funny. What was that? It was on Instagram. You just decked it. What? I decked it? Yeah. On my skates? No, I think you were uh, on a rock or something. You have to elaborate. I have no idea what you're on about. You were on some sort of rock and you just went sliding. You went oh, sliding. Oh, yeah, that was um, that was winter solstice. So was we went, it? yeah, yeah. I can't remember where we went, but Patrick was there for part of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was getting ready to jump into the to the river and um, I stacked. But I always do this. I always land on my ass. I've yeah. got another video that I've not posted. Um, actually, it ties into this pretty well. But me and my mate, we went down to Southampton 
uh, last year. Never been. And I thought, you know, Southampton, Southampton being a port, there would be some sort of beach. So we're out partying or whatever. It got to like 7 a.m. We're in the hotel and we're like, oh, let's go to the beach and go for a swim, right? <laughs> so so we get to, we just follow kind of the, the direction where we think. Yeah, you're like, this set. is flat over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll so, so we get to the harbour and we realise, right, there's, it's not a beach, no, it's a harbour. <laughs> Um, there's no sand. There's no. There's no. Not even anywhere you can go in. Really, and no. it's just like it's kind of like jumping in the Thames. Do you know what I mean? You don't really want to get in it. <laughs> but we, we made the commitment. Mm-hmm. We were there, so we stripped down. I was in the boxes, and I started going down like the. I suppose what would you call it? A ramp, like yeah. the boat ramp, uh, where the boats obviously come in and up to park. And it was all moss covered. My mates at the other end waiting, and I've just gone boom, boom, <laughs> slid right down. He's laughing his head off. I can't believe you actually did it. I genuinely thought you were going to say you get there, and then it'd be like, no. I'm oh not no, doing no, that. no, no. See, this is the thing. I don't think about what I do. I do it first, and then the lesson. <laughs> you know then I mean? afterwards, the consequences. Yeah, yeah. Which, whatever. It just go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it's it. about. Go with the flow. <laughs> I just try, try and look at things. Um, how I suppose. Little Paris would look at it, do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And it's not without the consequences and sometimes it gets you in trouble. But at the end of the day, I'm just, you know, awe and wonder. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. It's the best yeah. way to be. Yeah, 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 100%. So we, we, we jumped, yeah, we jumped in. He, he actually wet himself because he was laughing so much. He's like, look at my box, this is actually <laughs> be like... Uh, I, was, I was so drunk by the time we got back to the hotel, which we got locked out of, by the way, as well. I think I've still got the scars. I scarred oh, no. I can't I'm all right now. I'm right now. War wounds. That's, yeah, that's it. But Should see the other guy. Blood everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Showed that boat ramp. <laughs> Wag one, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think that would be my funny story. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What would a funny experience in your life or something that, you know, you'd I've like to share me? loads of funny experiences. I'm trying to think of one. Oh, yeah, right. So I don't know if you've noticed, I've got a lazy eye. This one here just does its own thing, especially if I've what had happened? a drink or if I'm tired. <laughs> it just goes it's off. It's just like off on its own little planet somewhere. So I was working um, at the time in town and I was coming home from work. I was waiting for the bus. It was a beautiful sunny day. So I thought I'll put my shades on. And yeah, you know when you can yeah, put yeah. your sunglasses on, you can look at people and they can't see you. So it's like, yeah, they don't know. So I was like looking at these people and they were looking away and I'm thinking... I didn't know I'm looking at them. So I got on the bus then, mm. 20 minute bus journey and I'm sat there like this and I could see people at the corner of right looking at me. So I'm like doing this. As soon as I look at them, they look away. I'm like, why do they know I'm looking at them? Then I get off the bus, about a five minute walk from the bus to my house. There's a guy on the other side of the road. He's looking at me. I'm like, oh my God, getting frillies because I thought he's checking me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I get yeah. home, look in the mirror. There's a lens missing out of my sunglasses <laughs> and I didn't even know. <laughs> Didn't even know, bit the whole the whole bus journey and everything without a lens in my glasses. That's how bad my eye is. I had to wear a patch when I was little and everything, like a pirate. But, but just because you've got a lazy eye doesn't mean you can't see out of it, does it? Apparently so. So, so what was your eye doing? Is it, just, <laughs> it was just it, doing its own thing. Literally, when you have a lazy eye, it's, it's uh, figuratively. It's, uh, yeah, lazy. It just doesn't want to do what yeah, it's so meant like, to I'm do. I'm not playing out today, <laughs> honestly. So, yeah. So, but I hadn't noticed that you got a lazy um, eye, no. You will, now I've said it, no. it'll just be like... And it's like, do you, do you look at, which one do you look at? No, it's, it's like... <laughs> it's this one. I that's wish, what I'm thinking. I wish I knew how I could not know, but I didn't. You were just, uh, you know, that just comes across to me, is like, you're so just in your own world. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Clearly. Like, it's like... These are going on, I'm not even going to pay this. <laughs> I've got, got my phone, got my keys, I'm going out. This, <laughs> Yeah, story of my life. Why are people looking at me weird? Like, from, probably used to it by now anyway. Doing do you know embarrassing, I mean? stupid stuff. It's yeah. the story of my life. <laughs> yeah. So. I love it. Yeah, that's one I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> what colour were the lenses? They were probably p- completely like pitch black. <sighs> All right, so I was thinking that maybe if they were like rose tinted or blue Yeah, they or weren't even that. They were. Okay. So, so I remember that I wanted them. Oh, what do they call them? Like. Oh, yeah. From top, yeah, they're yeah, the yeah, ones yeah, from Top yeah, Gun, yeah, 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 yeah. sort of the style, trying to be cool, like. And I, then I'm like starting off a new trend. You don't need two lenses in your glasses; just have one, and you can look on both sides. <laughs> do you know what? I could start of a new trend. Start, I? I can see it working because <laughs> it's like you can go between. I want you to know that I'm looking at you, mm-hmm. and I don't want you to know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Which side you yeah. get me on? It's like two faces, Gemini. Mm. So yeah, that was my funny story. Okay. I love it. 
<laughs> I absolutely love it. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Right. If you could choose a song yeah. to play every time you stepped in the room, what would it be? Huh. Like an entourage song. You know what? I've I've got like I've got like a playlist. Um, I can imagine that that I, I put together maybe maybe like two years ago, and I used to play it's just ten songs that I used to listen to in the morning first thing, just to get me hyped. Yeah, get, get you going. going. I suppose one of them would be that just comes to my head straight away is Kanye West Stronger. Nah. Nice. Oh, better, better, faster, stronger. They don't kill me. Can only, only make, make me stronger. stronger. And guess what he says? That's how long I've been on you. What's that all about? Yo! <laughs> 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 it's like the, the synchronicities. It's just on? like. It's crazy. Do you feel like an alien? Because I feel like an yeah, alien. Yeah, I do feel like an alien. I felt like an alien at the weekend, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. embracing my alien self. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that would be... That's just blowing my head. I can't actually go over that. That's weird. And you just picked up on it straight away. Because I, was, I, was I like, just remember that song <laughs> yeah. when I was younger. I was like, they say my name in this song. Like, yeah. That's how long I've been on you. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. On you. What's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What? So yeah, I'd, I'd <laughs> play that with some others, bang in the mirror nice. and just be like, Walking into your song like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I like it, good song. I, I read it somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but some some self-help book somewhere mm -hmm. said do that and I was like, that's a good idea. Yeah. I, I've actually stopped doing it now just because it's a bit repetitive playing the same it do, yeah, couple of... Yeah, I know what you mean, but music it, is everything. Yeah, yeah. It's and completely. when you pick like your favourite songs and you listen to your favourite songs every morning, it's like... All right, I love them, but not that much. Yeah, kind of thing. can we turn it off now? Yeah, right? yeah, do you know what I mean? Especially you're a DJ as well, so you know what it's like, I'm guessing, with music when you just keep playing it over and over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, yeah. ruins it, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Well, it depends mm. what what you're listening to, I suppose, and That's what true. you're listening mm. for. Mm. If you connect with it, then it's something that you know, fills your days of joy no matter what. Yeah, time, I can't live without music. Yeah, yeah. I cannot. Take away my music, take away my life. <laughs> That's true, yeah, so yeah. true. Serious, okay. serious. So if you're going down the <coughs> octagon, you got the sorry, Corona. Uh, you got heavyweight champion. You're going up against Mike Tyson. What's your? Oh. What's your song? Oh right, okay. This has to be Whitney. Yeah. I got the stuff that you want. I got the thing that you need. Okay. I got more than enough yeah. to make you jump to your knees. sing as well. Cause I'm the queen of the night. Queen of the night. Who yeah. Who yeah. Who yeah. Boom. Woo. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. But it has to be Whitney. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can't yeah. Love a bit of Whitney. Whitney. Cause she can get all your hands in and go in. I like it because usually with that song, it's like I suppose you pick something really like powerful and upbeat and high tempo. Oh no! But with that song you did, it's it's it is powerful, upbeat and high tempo. But without that, and it's like ah, oh, because you're more concentrating on actually what she's singing. Yeah. What. So that power. Was, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Self empowerment. Uh huh. <laughs> That's wicked, no? And I've just learned that you can sing as well. Yeah, You've a kept little that bit. We try. I try. You've kept that a secret. <laughs> Impressed. You. Keep shining, keep shining, <laughs> <Me too>. <laughs> <laughs> and teach me because I cannot sing for shit. Everybody can sing. No. What was that there? Mm. I know, right up there. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> we should do some lessons. Start a band. But I know a place. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I know a place. I know a place. I think well, I know the place. I'm learning the guitar as well. <gasps> Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, playing in the tin whistle, but it's not going very well at all. The what? Tin whistle. What's tin whistle? It's like an Irish. Just a metal whistle. Like a flute? A little bit, but it's like this big. Okay. It's only tiny and yeah, it sounds awful. <laughs> Do you prefer, would it be better if it was bigger? Or? Maybe if it was more of like a flute because if you haven't got your fingers on the holes, yeah. it sounds like a cat dying. And Do you play it like, like this or is it like... It's like this. Like... <laughs> And I've got really little fingers, so if you don't have your fingers on the holes, and my cat's looking at me like, oh, stop playing that. <laughs> so I'm giving that up. I need to find an instrument to play. What guitar are you playing? Acoustic. Nice. Acoustic. Yeah, How long yeah. have you been playing for? You know what? I picked it up, um, what were you now? March. I picked it up like last summer, maybe August, oh. September. I'll have to have a jam. Yeah, yeah. I just went through like 
massive breakup and kind of was like, oh, wait, all these other things in my life and stuff that's going on, it's not making me happy. And I was like, well, what does make me happy? What is it like I've always wanted to do mm-hmm. and not done? And one of the things was DJing. Yeah. I only just picked that up at the same time. And the other thing was learn the guitar. So I've been, I've been teaching myself that. Right. Um, actually got a lesson, my first ever lesson yesterday because I've just been doing YouTube. Yeah, just teaching um, myself. Yeah, I don't know if you've met Alex. He, he does the busking in Manchester. I'll know Young lad, he's, he, he sung, um, what did he sing? He sung Bob Marley song with uh, oh, him and his brother Luke. Oh, yeah, I did see him. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. Much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he's, he's, he gave me a, he, like my first lesson yesterday. Oh, amazing. So, yeah, I was like, well, you and me are going to be in Wembley soon. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he'll be on the actual stage and I'll just be there grouping, but <laughs> whatever. You never know. Yeah. So, you're a DJ. I am. Ooh. Yeah, see, I, am. I pretend to be a DJ. I'm guessing you're a proper DJ with, like, decks. When you say pretend to be a DJ, do you mean like when you're cooking, you've got like the hob going and you No, just... I've got like, because I used to be a DJ at parties, so I just right. put on Automix and I'm just like on virtual DJ, just press one button and they just keep playing. Yeah. Whereas I'm guessing you do all the beats and tie it all in with one another seat. Yeah. You'll yeah. have to teach me that. Yeah. Well, I've always wanted to, but I'm never I... like. There you go. It. Well, we've got date, date number two. Uh-huh. I'll cook for you. <laughs> date number three. Is I'll teach you to DJ and date number um, four you can teach me the oh, tin no. whistle. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't put you through that, Paris. I wouldn't. <laughs> really, it's not good. Well, I appreciate. I did that. three notes and I was just like, oh, this is awful. Well, I'm, you've got to I'm try these things try. to find out. That, you know, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> if you were a tree, yes. What kind of tree would you be and why? If I were a tree, what I kind of trees. tree tree would I be and why? Mm. Hmm. I mean, I can't really say that's ever a question that's come across my mind, so I, I, I'm open to... It's all about the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose the first thing that popped into my head when you said that was oak, but I'm thinking, actually, if I go more to to what I'd want to be if I were a tree, mm-hmm. um, probably like a palm tree, just because they grow in you know exotic climates yeah. and... I'm yeah, just thinking coconuts and <laughs> beach and sea. That's a good choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you look at a palm tree, you instantly feel good, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. coconuts are amazing, so good choice. Thank you. Yeah, good Thank choice. Thank you. I, 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 I'm going to stick with that one. I think I, I think maybe I'll get a little palm tree on me now. Actually, you know what? I actually wanted a palm tree tattoo. So Did maybe, you? Yeah, so maybe I'll have some deeper connection to palm trees. than Maybe. I've, You're you know, a palm I've tree just... in a past life. <laughs> Probably. Just weird. Probably. Been there, been there a while, so yeah, probably was. <laughs> How about you? Christmas tree? Uh, Evergreen? Oh, that's not a bad one, actually. Um, What tree would I be? Hmm. I'd be a willow. A willow? Yeah, I like willow trees. They're quite magical and mysterious. You know what? In, in my parents' old house, when we lived back in Essex, because that's where I'm from, Shut if you up. haven't been able to... Well, I can tell you're not from up north. What do you mean? You don't say no like we say no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. No, you got. And then I'm guessing you say grass, glass. What? Do you G- say gra- glass? Glass. 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 Bath. 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 Yeah. Bath. Scone. Bath. Do you say scone? T- tea. Tea. You know, you know what I'm getting to to terms with is lunch and dinner and tea and dinner. Oh and yeah. Like, He's like, oh, let's let's meet up for dinner. I'm like, What's is that, that like this evening or is that like in an hour? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, when is that? Because dinner is evening time for me. Yeah, I see tea. Tea time. Yeah, that's just, what? How long have you been up north then? Two years. Oh. Two years. So you are adapted a little bit. Do you Kinda. like it up north? Well, I'm still here, isn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was saying to someone the other day, it's the first time I've, I've lived somewhere because I've lived bloody everywhere. And I was like, it's the first time I've lived somewhere where... Um, I feel like I'm, I'm meant to be here. Yeah. And it's like, with everything going on and how everything's coming together and all these connections that, you know, I'm having with people and these events and I'm just like, all right, it's kind of making sense why I had this draw to come back. And, yeah. Because I was, I was off gallivanting. In, in, You've been a lovely um, place, haven't you? Yeah, I was literally further from, you couldn't get further than England. Really? Further than England. Further from England than I was. <laughs> Can't English. <laughs> um... <laughs> So, yeah, so I love Manchester. Mm-hmm. Um, Essex was all right. The point that I was getting to that back in the old house, because mm-hmm. we've, we've digressed, um, is that we used to have this 
beautiful willow tree at the back of the garden. It was bloody massive, this thing. It literally covered like from the whole length of the garden. Yeah. And I came, I can't remember. I think I've come back to visit uh, whilst I was in Asia. I came back home to visit and my parents had cut it down. <gasps> no. Man, I was fuming at them. Like, Why did you do that? Da, da, da. And they gave me all these things about the roots were growing too long and you know, going to the buildings. And I was just like, it was the most beautiful tree ever. And our, our neighbours at the time had planted that tree. I can't remember the exact story, but it was like, someone in their family had died, so they planted it. And you can imagine, like, this tree must have been like 100, 150 yeah. years old. And that's why it was there. And they cut it down. And I was just like, you guys can't do this to trees. Yeah, to trees. <laughs> and it no. was so beautiful as well. Oh. It literally was my favourite tree. I used to climb it. I used to sit in it. Like, I probably used to talk to it as well now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm but, always talking to trees yeah. at the moment. It seems to be one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you do, don't you? You yeah. just go, you go past a tree and I'm just like, oh, hi. Hello. I was just about to do it before I realised... Um, I was coming here and then I was yeah. like, I'm going to go and hug that tree. And then I saw the car and I was like, I'm going to be late. Can't hug the tree. I'll do it after. <laughs> we'll go and hug it later. Yeah. Sh show me where it is and we'll go, we'll go stop off and hug the tree. <laughs> Them crazy tree huggers. <laughs> what are they like? But We're fun. It's a new concept, mm. but I'm, I'm open to it, you know? Because <laughs> I, I suppose 10 years ago, I would have looked at people having this conversation and been like, you're fucking a bit weird, but... It's like, ah, oh, I get it now. Yeah, I totally get, I it. get it. now. I love being around them. And it's like, I always say, like, if you watched, um, oh, what's it called? Avatar. Yes. And they can speak to the animals and the trees and they're connected to yeah, the earth. Yeah, it's just like that. I was like, that, that literally, the message is there. It's like, we can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? We're just not. We're not doing it, but we're recre like reconnecting now. Yeah, nature. yeah, I think we're, it's coming back, elements. isn't it? It is, definitely, definitely. Yeah, because the more I pay attention to it, it's like the more it's happening and the more I start picking up on these feelings and frequencies of other entities I suppose mm. I'm just like oh wait this isn't me and hello and then you can kind yeah. of have a conversation with it and and then you can even have conversations without even talking yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it yeah like Crazy. like us today I know do you know what I mean what's going on synchronicity <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rare wed wed you're gonna what I'm gonna rare I'm gonna why can't I say that I'm gonna wear red I'm going to wear wed. I'm going to wear wed. <laughs> and then you've worn red. Okay. Have you got any more questions for me? <laughs> Have I? I've, I've got a ton of questions. I feel like I've just fired a load at you. No, it's all right. <laughs> well, one thing, um, when I was watching your thing the other day, um, the podcast that you did with Patrick, is um, you were talking about, of course, superheroes and, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're kind of this Wonder Woman. I wish. And, you know, as, as I was sat there listening to you, um, that was the first thing that popped into my head when you're talking about heroes. And, and I was like, oh, weird, because that's what I looked at when I, was, I saw you. I was like, yeah, Wonder Woman, that's what you'd be. <laughs> and then you said it, and I was like, boom. Um, so, yeah, I went, to, I went then down to check your Instagram out, done a bit of snooping, because I wanted to find the video of you getting arrested. Just a bit of stalking. Yeah, yeah, you know it is. But, got... Yeah, I've done the same. <laughs> yeah. but, but in a good way. Mm, uh, research. I was, yeah, I was trying to find the... Um, the video of you getting arrested, but yeah. it's not on there, is it? Not on Instagram, no, it's on ah. Facebook. So I've still not seen it. <laughs> um, but then what I did see is you dressed up as Wonder Woman. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, it used to be my job. I'd literally, I'd have to go dressed up. So I'd sometimes have to go shopping like that, get food right. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was interesting. Was that in England? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, over yeah. the northwest, I was doing parties. <laughs> That's wicked. That is so And good. the kids would be like, um, how did you get here? And I'd be like, I flew. Did you not see me? But I had to put on this American accent. And then um, they were like, why didn't you fly today? And I was like, well, uh, the British Aerospace said I couldn't be flying today. There's too many planes in the air. And they'd be like, oh, okay. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So you've just got to tell a little vibs. But yeah, it was good fun being Wonder Woman. Is Wonder Woman your favourite uh, hero? I think she is actually. Yeah, yeah she cracks that whip. Yeah. You know what? I've never. I'm not. I've been meaning to watch the actual Wonder Woman film because it came out a couple of years ago. I've yeah, not watched yeah. it yet, oh. and there's there's a second one mm -hmm. I've still not watched. Yeah, it's a good. Film. So maybe that's the inspo. I need to go watch it. And, go watch it. Yeah. Channel your in a Wonder Woman. Yeah, maybe I'll dress up as Wonder Woman. Mm, well, you've got goes. the band going on. Yeah. See. Mm. Is there a Wonder Man? There is a Wonder Man, isn't there? There could be. I think so. 
If there's not, I'll be the one. You can create the new one. There we go. Have you still got the the outfit? I have, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Next protest, we'll do it. Imagine. That's such a good idea. They're not going to touch us. Come at me. I mean, we can try to. (laughs) She'll do it. Yeah, we can try to. But yeah, I need to... um, you have to give me the, the link to the video so I can watch yeah. it afterwards because that would be good. No, so yeah, so back to um, you getting arrested, um, not seeing the, the video. Mm-hmm. Um, was that the first time that you've been arrested? Yeah. yeah. Don't make a habit of it, unfortunately. Because yeah. like, it was funny, I got arrested a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh, bloody hell. No, the, first, the first time I got arrested was 10 years prior to that. Um, I heard, and... was this about something that um, you put something on Facebook? Yeah, Good yeah. Good old Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I learned my lesson quite young in terms of <laughs> what to post and what not to post online. Uh, I suppose, yeah, Facebook's something I don't even use. I've del- I just deleted the app. I use the messenger and that's about it. Yeah. That's why Patrick messaged me the other day and he's like, oh, did you get my message? I was like, did you message me on Facebook? And he's like, yeah. I was like, sorry, mate. Like, don't check it. No, because I couldn't fig- I couldn't find you and then I realised, but then, yeah, you just got a messenger, haven't you? Which yeah, is a good yeah. way to be, but... Social media is where it's the like Facebook's the only I guess platform at the moment that's getting stuff out for me mm. more than anything. Um, yeah, yeah. Is that what you used to? I just do? live streamed it. What about you? How did it, were you in London when it happened? When you got arrested. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's London. Yeah, it was December, December the fourteenth. The police there are brutal as well. It's complete different energy, isn't it? Mm. It's like I really enjoy the atmosphere up here. It's kind of like they just let you know let you get on with it but down yeah. there it's like no fun no not no at all. anything no like ah yeah um but yeah my, my so my question was like how were you feeling when you when you were you know being arrested because for your first time i was fine i was more um a bit annoyed at myself for winding the window down mm. but i didn't want him to smash my car up yeah, yeah um, but yeah, i was yeah, just yeah. um just let it like I'm just going with the flow do you know what I mean and I, I really wanted to see a certain person so as soon as they took me I was like right we're we going to see such and such a body yeah, and yeah, they're just yeah. staring at me I was like and then I got there I was like so when are we going to see <laughs> and they're just not saying anything to me so to me I wasn't because I knew I'd not done anything wrong yeah so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah what's the worst that can happen yeah 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 so I was just seeing seeing what what it's like basically um it's a, it's a good experience to have because I think there's so much fear in regards to what the police can do to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you actually boil it down, it's like you're just scared of being arrested. Yeah. And, you know, I've not seen it, but I can imagine you, you're holding yourself quite well. You're probably there just like, <laughs> what the hell is going on kind of thing. Um, people need to see that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? People really need to see it. Like when mm. I was getting arrested, I'm on the floor. I've got like five guys, um, you know, on top of me. I'm smiling the whole time, and someone—I was lucky enough. Someone recorded it, and literally there, it's like on the floor, smiling. And like people need to see that because yeah. it ain't scary. It's no, been, I wasn't hurt. I was like, I've been violated, you know. Because as I said, as I said to the police officer, I was like, they were like, "Oh, I'm going to arrest you then for not giving my details." And I was like, "Oh wait, so you're going to kidnap me then?" Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so I'm, I'm kind of like, "Oh, you, you know." this person's about to take me away and it's crazy because you can't do anything about it. No. But what can you control? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So just smile. <laughs> <laughs> smile and wave, yeah. boys. Just smile, smile and, and wave. wave. Take me away. How long were you in uh, like in the cells for? We didn't actually get put in the cells. It was me and my mate Esther, we... Um, oh, so there was... You were you had someone with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, <laughs> Double she, trouble. She actually, we we drove down to to London for the protest. She mm. drove, um, and we were actually kind of like we got split up straight away between the protest got like squashed in ten minutes. Literally, it started and then the police came out from everywhere. Everyone started running. I had like my megaphone. I was like, stick together. <laughs> but like once the fear sets in, people aren't listening anyway. Yeah. So it's kind of just like it's, like it's all sheep, up in the air. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Scattered. That's, that's why they did it. But I had my boombox and stuff. So me and Esther were kind of just like, oh, you know what? We're just going to go around London and whatever. Yeah. Um, so we went away kind of home. There's only like a couple of people with us kind of thing that we just met. 
Um, and then they just they just come and arrested us. And then she actually got arrested first. We were up against the wall, and she's like, "Paris, I'm being arrested." And I was like, "What? Like, what's going on?" And then next thing, and I were in the back of the um, van together because I was thinking like, "Oh no, like she's gonna go one place, I'm gonna go another." Um, how are we gonna communicate? It's like, oh, what's it called? Prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I was just like, oh, shit, this is going to be up in the air. But then we got put in the same van. So I was there opposite her, like how we are now. And I was talking to her. She's like, I can't hear you. And I was like, all oh, right, yeah, soundproof. <laughs> like sign language. Yeah, so, so we just started meditating. And it was nice. awesome. It was like in this little box. It wasn't comfortable. It was wet because they put me on the floor. Mm. But I was just there. Like, but you were shining your light like, yeah, yeah. not penetrating me. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Today. 100%. So, yeah, they de-arrested us after like 20 minutes. Wow. So they take you anywhere, they just drove you around in the van and then yeah, yeah, let you had, out. Yeah, yeah, we got a free, free Uber ride, couldn't wow. see outside, which is a bit of a shame. Mm. And they let us out, because they, they found our IDs. Oh. Um, yeah, we, schoolboy error on mm. our account. But to be honest, I had a lot going on that weekend, so did Esther, and it was like, it's kind of worked out for the best, because we would have been in the cell stub and they, they're going to find out who you are anyway, you just might are. as well just give it to you, because yeah. at the end of the day, the fine that they've given, them, given me, I'm going to burn... Do you nice. know what I mean? So. Yeah. But there's no point. Like, you've got to kind of play their games too, in a way. So, yeah. yeah. I've uh, learned that the hard way as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. For, for whilst the system exists, yeah. you've got to be aware of it. And it's like the casino. Do you know what I mean? Learn how to play the game mm -hmm. so you can work, you know, you can walk out a winner. Yeah. But exactly. if you don't learn how to play the game, you're going to be the victim and you're going to lose your money. Yeah. Yeah. I think if, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. As long it as doesn't. you handle yourself well, which it sounds like you did. Mm -hmm. I tried. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah. got to be yourself. Where's the weirdest place you've ever unintentionally vomited? The weirdest place I've ever unintentionally <laughs> vomited? Oh, I probably shouldn't share this story with you that early. But I'm going to because I trust you. <laughs> okay. Um, so when, when I was 15, 16, me mm. and my mates used to go to this under 18s um, like disco night, I suppose. Nice. Where it was in like, this nightclub in Essex. Obviously, there was no alcohol. So we just used to double up on the Red Bulls. Um, but obviously, everyone used to turn up pissed. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. all used to drink before. Yeah, before you so, go Yeah. So this was like the age where we were just discovering alcohol and didn't really come to terms with the effects of it or how it works yeah. right so we're ready for this night and what we've done is we've gone to this shop that serves us you know god bless him he was the, he was the party started this guy but mm -hmm. he's been shut down now i wonder why hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so so we've gone and bought oh me and my mate we've gone and bought a liter of vodka and a, a liter of smirnoff ice as well and that is hardcore at that age i was just like white lightning or something yeah. like that not the spirits Paris. not the spirits listen go hard or go hard oh. baby it, it was either that or it was a it was a big bottle of strongbow two two liter bottle of that and we used to down that before we went yeah, in but this night that. was extra special um so we went for the spirits because the strongbow would usually be um but this is where obviously i've gone wrong I'm spirits uh -huh. right so we thought it'd be a good idea like because what we do is the ritual would be to get the strongbow, mm -hmm. spin around in the car park, because there used to be a Sainsbury's next door, go in the car park, spin around and down it, and then go into the club. <laughs> so you can see where I'm going with this. We yep. bought the vodka, bought the Smirnoff ice. We had some extra like, empty bottles. We put half and half. So you've got half a bottle of vodka, half a bottle of Smirnoff ice, oh. mixed it, and then we spun around and downed it each. So I, I think that's the only time I've ever probably consumed half a litre of vodka in my life if I think about it. Um, and yeah, so the night was good for about 10 minutes. We got in there and I remember being on the dance floor with my mate and we were just like, yeah, like I'm perfect drunk, I'm perfect <laughs> drunk, I'm perfect drunk. Next thing you know, I'm in, I'm in the toilets, just going for a wee. I'm still golden. I don't know if I had dinner before maybe or something, but it wasn't quite there yet. I was, mm -hmm. I was pissed, don't get me wrong, yeah. but I, was, I could still take myself knew, to the toilet. Yeah, you knew what you were doing. Um, and the bouncers come in and he's, he's like, oh, your, your mate's outside. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, like he's, he's thrown up everywhere. So I've gone outside and my mate is just slumped up against the wall like this. We've all sick down on him. And I've sat next to him and I'm just like, oh, mate, you're a blob. I just start, I start 
frying up as well and it just all suddenly just hit me it was like the bouncer kind of knew have you see do you watch in between us yeah you know when the, um what's his name will's in the toilet and he's cut his, cut his you know his, yeah, his yeah. member <laughs> uh, and the bouncer comes and carries him out it was kind of like that I got carried out well not really but he, he escorted me out and now that i think about it he probably was kicking me out but without telling me so yeah um and then yeah then I was throwing up over myself next so to my mate. Just, like chucking up on each yeah. other. Nice. And then my other mate Harry, who was still in the club, mm-hmm. he came out and checked it, checked on us, and obviously saw the state we were in. And to this day, we always bring it up. It's like, mate, why didn't you help us? He was like, oh, I tried to help you, da, 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 but he was necking on with some girl in there. So he come out, checked saw to see you, if we were mate. right, and then kept dipping back in there. And I was like, <laughs> mate, like we're dying. We're he dying just here. left you late. No. Yeah, 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 but. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, what's the word? Take up the spice a little bit. I'm gonna add some heat to this because the, the frying up part isn't the interesting bit oh, about no. this story. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, in in my two one eight, that's a right old state. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you, you're a bit northerner, of, so. Yeah, it's rhyming slang. Yeah, yeah, two and yeah. Eight. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Um, I've, I don't know, I don't know where I was going or what I was doing, but I was trying to move away from this wall where I was covered in sick with my mate. Yeah. So uh, the, the club used to be down this side alley. So you've got like the high road and then it was down this alley and then the club was like nestled away there. So I've come up this alley um, back onto the high road and there was a Costa just on the corner here. So I've, I've gone to the, I don't know what I was doing. I don't, I don't know, but this is, yeah, don't judge me. So I've <laughs> gone into the Costa. I was obviously throwing up. Um, and by the way, I'm, I'm telling you this, like, I don't remember any of this. This is what I've been told from eyewitnesses after the events <laughs> happened. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this, I'm, okay. I have no idea. This isn't from memory whatsoever. But, yeah. So, the next next thing I've done is um, I've shat myself in the cluster. Oh, no. um, so, my cousin who was there, who's two, two years older than me, he was in the club. He's come out and found me and I've got shit everywhere. My, <laughs> my, my jeans are off, my shoes are off, my boxes are off. <laughs> In the middle of the street, do you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm begging him to take me out because he, he was 17, 18 at the time. So he's just started driving. He's like, no, nah, mate, like, I've been drinking. Like, I can't take care of him. I'm there like, please, please. Like, <laughs> You're not getting in my car. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so um, I ended up, my aunt picked me up, uh, took me back to mum. And then they had to bath me and everything. And I, I woke up obviously like blackout, mm-hmm. can't remember a thing. To like my mum at the end of the bed being like, Yeah, I've been up all night, like watching did... you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just there like, the fuck happened? <laughs> it's like, we lit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then like you can imagine the hangover they had, like oh, be- uh, hanging, it, literally. Even at that age, like it was it was hard. And yeah, I'm just laying in bed and she's telling me what had happened, and I was just like, who knows <laughs> and, and the, the problem with this club was it because it was like an under 18s thing i think it was weekly or by like fortnightly maybe mm. um we've been going a couple of times at this point so everyone there was kind of it was like the same crowd do you know what i mean so i've done this my mate's done that and i was kind of just like oh my god like my social life's over uh well, what am i gonna do but can't go back yeah <laughs> and this is and this goes back to what i was saying earlier like I just jump in two feet with things and then find out sometimes the hard way. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty similar that way, I would say, yeah. <laughs> have you, what have you got? Have like, you, I don't even know if I can say. <laughs> if, I mean, if you can top the... Not that it's a competition, but if you can top the shit yourself... I then can definitely I'll, top it. Yes! I think, anyway. Give it, it me. Oh, don't judge me. So this is when I worked on the holiday parks. We used to have um, bands come in and gig for us. Anyway, this one band came in from the X Factor. Mm -hmm. They would like run us up on the X Factor and everybody was like smitten with them. Back when X Factor was massive. Yeah, when it was big. Um, And they invited us back to the caravan. So we were like, yeah, let's go. And I'm a lightweight. I can smell alcohol and be drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And we're playing Ring of Fire. Always ends well. And... Who had to drink the dirty drink? In the middle, it was me. So I was absolutely hammered at this point. Um, <laughs> one of the lads from the band had my sweets. So I went to go and find my sweets. Yeah, right. Ended up getting a bit intimate and uh, threw up all over him. 
all over him. Carried on thinking that he wouldn't know that I'd thrown up on him. But he clearly knew I'd thrown up on him. So did you throw up on like his back or like on his front? All over his front. And then so. um, he had to put me in the shower. Yeah. It was very embarrassing. Okay. Um, and then I it went throughout the whole holiday park. Everybody in the holiday parks oh, knew man. about it. I'd get called because they were called the risk. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, like, oh, he's a bit risky. risky. <laughs> oh, he's a bit risky. And uh, yeah, it was just very embarrassing because then they were on the show, they were on um, Keith Lemon's show and everyone was like filming it going, oh, and you look. <laughs> and I was no. just like, oh, no. So yeah, yeah, that so, was, that was, yeah, I'll pretty... never forget that. Awful. So how old were you when this happened? I must have been 23-ish, I would say. Old enough to know better. Yeah, so that, you know, yeah, I'm not going to, look, you said it, I'm glad mm-hmm. you did. <laughs> and then the next day I had to go and do kids club as well. I was hanging out of my ass. I was, remember we had to do this clown town stuff. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to dress the kids up as clowns and give them bows. And I had the shakes, I was like this, like. Cut, cutting near the kids' necks, like <laughs> I, I can't physically do this job yeah, right now. I, honestly, <laughs> I was hanging, um, but yeah, that was um, that's something I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it's not as bad as yours, but in a way, to me, it is. Like, oh I, yeah, I don't know. I can't say I've ever thrown up on someone in in that way. Anywhere <laughs> seems to be a regular occurrence of mine. Oh, throwing really? up on people. Maybe it's your body telling you. You know, maybe. <laughs> You, you're expelling we don't like person. that person yeah yeah, get rid of it. yeah so yeah that was um, risky very risky <laughs> oh i mean it's experience isn't it? you could have experimented with it it's like, character building yeah. isn't it like i'll never play yeah. ring of fire again let's put it that way <laughs> never I've, again i've never had to drink the dirty drink oh. and it, i think with ring of fire you always get to that point where when someone has to do it everyone else is like oh <laughs> mate because you just know their night's over yeah. over like there's no there's no ifs or buts if you played the game properly you're just like you're done yeah that was the first and last time for me yeah yeah I've yeah i've never yeah, played yeah, it before yeah. and i will never play it again yeah yeah <laughs> it's serious it's... yeah it was um, nasty alcohol is a lot of fun but you gotta respect it because it will put you on your ass oh, yeah, otherwise do you know what i mean definitely <laughs> but it is what it is it is what it is i can't believe i've just exposed that Yes. Maybe cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it stays. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the devil? <laughs> nah, it's, I think most people have got similar stories That's or something like that. Maybe not. Well, he's, I think both of ours was a bit... Mm. Yeah, we're just setting the we're setting the levels. You know, don't be like us kids. Yeah, don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah. Do not. P- parental advice and supervision is definitely required. <laughs> um, maybe not in Anya's position because you, you wouldn't want your parents. That'd be a bit weird. No, that would be a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh so just wing it. Just wing it. <laughs> just wing it. <laughs> if you could be any Disney princess, who would it be? If I could be any Disney princess, who would it be? Channel one. <laughs> Probably Snow White. <gasps> That's really weird. I was talking about Snow White this morning. Really? Yeah, because I was meant one. to kiss Patrick on the head from somebody and it made me think of Snow White. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would but, you be Snow White? Because I just like the fact that she's got a little grumpy... What are they? Elves? Not elves, are they? Uh, dwarves. Dwarves, that's it. Yeah. We can't say that anymore. It's not politically correct. <laughs> no, no. I'm surprised you can actually even watch that film anymore. That's true. Um, but yeah, it's, I suppose it's a it's a good message in it. And it's nice that she allows these dwarves in her life that all have their own little quirks. But she's yes. accepting all she of them. Is. She and loves, she loves them. them. It's just like a, a nice message for kids. Mm, that's a good one. So yeah. We like it. Yeah. Mm. I really liked in your, um, in your podcast when you are talking about... Um, you know, they said to you that you were too tall to be a princess, yeah. but then you became the princess anyway. Yeah, it was, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hated being a princess. <laughs> really? Yeah, you it are. was awful. I mean, you're more of a queen, darling. Oh, right? so. <laughs> no, it's just the two, like, um, and yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. that, and I'm just like, I just want to get down and... It's, like mess about it sounds was, like you're a bit rougher and readier than just yeah, a, princess than a princess from what you've told me <laughs> <laughs> you like to get your hands there no i'm not judging I'm, I'm getting to know you is what i'm doing i'm not judging you at all yeah yeah i i can't judge you i'm not i'm not holy now 
<laughs> my hands are not clean. Mm. So, um, but yeah, I was going to ask, how did, how did it make you feel when they said to you that you couldn't be a princess? I was fine because they were, at the auditions, they were very, um, like they were literally going up to people's faces mm. and asking them if they could get certain stuff taken off or removed. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you being serious? Um, so like, can I you was, just not look that way, please? Yeah, I wasn't bothered. I was like, compared to some of the girls that they were talking to, mm. yeah. No, that's good because mm. it's, it's 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 hard to put yourself in a position where like such as that, where you you are literally being judged on you, but just on the surface. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there's obviously so much more to you than than that. Just that, but of for that role, that is what they're looking at, mm. and it's you know it's it's tough yeah it's tough but it's it's good to hear that you know you just again just went with the flow and didn't let it affect you yeah, not so it's a, it's a good message you've got to have a thick skin if you're auditioning yeah, for stuff yeah, yeah. definitely and, and then too late. yeah man and then you ended up being the princess anyway so it's yeah. just like i didn't want to be so channel you're in a wonder woman <laughs> don't let anyone win. tell you you can't and actually, when you get there, you might realise you don't want it anyway. Exactly. But figure it out for yourself and don't <laughs> let someone tell you you can't do no. it until you do it yourself. No. <laughs> so, full power to you. <laughs> it's a good message. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being the star that you are. Yeah, so obviously, with your activism, let's call it, um, and your, your role in, I suppose, you know, I don't really like to use the word protest and stuff like that, yeah. a kind of a gathering or a rally or because protest kind of highlights that you're, you're fighting against exactly. something and I'm not fighting against anything I'm spreading yeah. love joy and happiness mm. do you know what I mean yeah um but my question was yeah aside from that aspect of things how do you like to express yourself I love dancing at the moment yeah yeah dancing yeah, yeah, yeah. and singing um and just being around people like yourselves people who are on the same level mm. like it's it is literally like we're all on the same wavelength. It's yeah, yeah, magical. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. we're all listening to the same stuff. We're all being introduced to the same stuff. It's like I'll be listening to a song and then I'll send it to someone. And they'll be like, I was listening to that. I'm mm. like, what? It's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. It's like, and then I'll meet up with people and I won't have to message them. I'm like, how did you get here? Mm. It's just beautiful. It happens. Mm. So that's the, something actually that sat with me the other day um, on the weekend when we were doing our thing. Mm -hmm. um, you said like, oh, you you know, you're kind of done with the protest now. And I was like, at, at that moment in time, I agreed with you. I was kind of thinking about it and I was kind of like, hang on a minute. Like through the protests and stuff, was, I've met some of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. And all together, all at once, you know, bloody, yeah. So I was just like, I think I'm going to probably still go for, go to him just because I want to meet more like-minded yeah. people. Or it's like events like that, yeah, yeah, just well, gatherings. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but um, same with you with the word protest. Mm. It's like, it is, it, it's the word, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You're fighting fire with fire and that's not, it's not going to get anything, is it? So for me, it's like, I want to get people together with music. Because everybody can relate to music, That's can't it. they? And it makes people feel good. So I actually just... love you. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> um, but it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Because every... you're always there. I remember when I first saw you, I was like, who is that guy? This boombox. I was like, he's so cool. <laughs> Look at him I don't go. Know cool, but I'll take the comfort. <laughs> you were, and then you fell over at one point, and I was probably laughing. I was like, oh, I feel See? bad now. I always fall over. I always fall. I but don't you know did why. it in such a cool way. I was like, look at him go. He's still got his boom butts going. He didn't fall on his ass. He just was like... <laughs> I make it look good. You made it look like you were dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, I kind of refer myself to, you know, Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I mean, you're not falling. You're No, you're not flying. You're falling in style. <laughs> That's kind of how I refer to myself. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm falling over, but I'm doing it in style. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. I Something I do need that. to work on. I don't know why I'm so clumsy, but... I'm the same. Yeah. I'm covered in bruises and I don't even know why. I couldn't <laughs> tell you why. It's from Saturday as well. I'm covered yeah, in bruises. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like I've broken a toe. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> what, no what, idea. What do you do in your spare time? Like, are you fighting with someone? <laughs> I must be. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to sleep, who knows? You start sleepwalking and... I do. Up. I have actually got a habit of sleepwalking. Do you? Talking. Yeah. Really? Really bad when go I was on. younger. So um, so I was where's... wandering around a hotel room once. Um, what else have I been doing? I've woke up once counting money. <laughs> just, I, had just, my, yeah, like... I had all my change on the bed and then I like... Whop. I come round like, what the hell am I doing? 
I'd be looking out the window and then I'd wake up like, huh? How did I get here? I just found myself talking to my teddies all the time, honestly. And then, oh, that was it. I got this app that used to record me. Right. Um, and for a good solid four hours, I would be clapping, clicking, clipping, <laughs> clicking, clapping. Um, I pulled the curtain rail off the wall, off the wall at one point. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. speaking this language I'd never even heard of. Um, and Tons. then at one point, I was like singing Batman. No, 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 no. We used to have a laugh listening to the conversations I would That's have wicked. in my sleep. I punched an ex actually in in my sleep once. Oh really? But I woke up doing it. I remember thinking. Why am I punching him? But I carried on. One of my exes used to do that in their sleep quite often. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> it's not that, so I can, I can, I can sympathise with this guy, you know, waking up to a fist do in your face. Do a punch, yeah, it's not good. It's, uh, he must have done something to deserve it. Well, I mean, he's not in your life anymore, <laughs> so it sounds like he probably deserved it anyway. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, like, where does your mind go? Couldn't tell you. When you're sleepwalking, because it does like, what? Yeah. My, my brother used to do it. Um, and he used to, like his, in the old house, my parents' old house, when I used to live with them, um, his room was next to mine. And he used to, I used to sleep with my door open. So in the middle of the night, it'd be like three, four. I'd just hear like these creaks of the floorboards. And then I'd open my eyes and there'd just be this shadow standing in the doorway <laughs> looking at me. And um, I'd be like, Kana, you are right? And he'd just stand there and he wouldn't say anything like, at all for like whatever, however long. So he used to do that. <laughs> Scared the absolute shit out of I me. I can imagine. And, and I remember once uh, he used to talk to himself as well, the same way um, you do. And he, he's, I, I woke up to him like, in a bit of like a huff and he was like, where's Erin? Where's Erin? Where is she? Where is she? So I've come out to the hallway and he's just there going like, where's Erin? I can't find her. Erin was like this girl that he went to school with, like not even his girlfriend or anything. I think he was like, must have been like seven or eight at the time, probably it was around that age. But he was proper like crying, but he wasn't awake. So he was probably like crying in distress. And he's just like, where's Erin? Where's Erin? And I'm like, it's all right, mate. Like, get you back to bed. And he's yeah. just like, where is she though? Like, mum's come down. Like, where is she? Like, so to this day, like, we tease him about it. And like, whenever, like, he's, he's going off on mum, we're just like, where's Erin? No. <laughs> he's like, oh, shut up. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Did Erin ever know what happened? I don't think, she, nah. Don't know. No. Don't know what come of Erin. Don't know. What's she up to these days? <laughs> What's Erin up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. Find out. Um, but you don't sleepwalk anymore? I don't think so. I'm trying to think it's the last time. No, I haven't done it in a long time. Right. Touch wood. You think, like, how would you know, though, unless you're recording well, yourself? Well, that's the thing. I don't, I don't do it anymore. I could do, maybe. Maybe you do. I did have family right. that literally used to leave the house in their sleep, so I couldn't really? be doing that. Just wandering off. It seems there. It seems like there's something generational going on mm, here, you know? Definitely. But that can be your homework for this evening. Get home, set up the camera and the mic and record yourself when you go to bed. <laughs> that could and be dangerous. And check. I, mm. I've always wanted to do it because obviously from my brother and stuff, I was like, oh, let me do it. But I'm kind of scared. I always thought like, what about if there's like a monster in the room or like I start saying stuff I don't want to hear. And just, <laughs> God knows what goes through your head. But yeah, like, that's true. When you're in a dream world, anything's possible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, especially at the moment. Yeah. Dreams are crazy. To, to be fair, I kind of feel like I'm living a dream all the time now, rather yeah. than I just wake up and it's the same thing. Do you know what I mean? Which <laughs> yeah. is it's pretty awesome. Minus the flying, I've not quite got no, to. No, you've not mastered that no, yet. No, and it's hard because <laughs> I've not got wings. Right, so if you did have a superpower, yeah. is that what it would be? Flying. To fly? Yeah. I think it's like always, yeah, it's either fly or be able to breathe underwater. Ooh. Just just because like I like the exploration. That would be amazing. Yeah, like yeah. Like a merman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do it because I love scuba diving and snorkeling. Like, that's what I used to do when I was traveling all the time. I love that. And I just think like there's more sea than there is land. Mm -hmm. We don't have a clue. I think it's like 90% of the sea is unexplored. Yeah. It could be there's aquamen and women uh, and mermaids. There and, must be. Yeah, like... We'll the odds find... say there is, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. if, if anything. Who, like, we'll go and find Ariel. Let's do it. We'll build a submarine. We'll build a big yellow submarine. 
<laughs> we'll play music the whole way down. Oh, but then we'll we have to be careful because when we're in the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we have to abide by maritime law. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They can get us in the water. <laughs> We've got to be an invisible um, scoop. What is it called? Submarine. Invisible one. Invisible no. one. I'll talk to my mate Harry Potter and we'll get one of yeah, his clothes. Yeah, we'll sort it out. <laughs> Easy. such a random conversation. Easy. <laughs> what would your superpower be? What would mine? Mine probably fly in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You could just go wherever you want. Fly away. Where would you go if you could fly away? Oh, see, I haven't... Compared to you, like, you've been all over mm. the place. I've been quite sheltered, to be fair. I want to go to place, places like Bali or... Um, where is it? Um, why can't I think of it now? It begins with an N. Beautiful green place. <laughs> why can't I think? Norway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. It came somewhere like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Just fly away. Just fly, well, I mean, one day we, we can. I'll tell you what, when we don't have to wear a mask to go on a flight, mm -hmm. we'll go to Bali. Yes. I'll take you to Gilly T and I'll take you to the beach there that goes down the island and... <sighs> It's called Turtle Beach, and you start from one end, snorkel your way down, and the current wow. takes you, and there's, like, the reef's just incredible. There's turtles everywhere. There's I didn't see any sharks, but turtles. apparently there's sharks as well, and there's, like, Nemos and octopuses, oh. just all the good stuff. So you know I mean? that you've been to Bali, I'm guessing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. jealous. Yeah, uh, I have. It's, it's a blessing. I, honestly, I had, like, a massive calling when I was younger to... I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I just knew I wanted to go travelling. Mm. Um, so I pretty much saved up all I could during uh uni and did that and you know i've actually been reflecting on it recently i'm kind of like with everything that's gone on now um like last year i went away three times but you know like i wore a mask and i was kind of like oh shit yeah and i'm i'm actually i'm not really practicing what i preach here and i was like i'm i was like am i prepared to not wear as much as i want to go traveling am yeah. i prepared to not wear a mask for you know that little bit of freedom i was like no. you know what I'm just going to stay in the UK because yeah. uh, until until that isn't the rules I'm not going anywhere and you know I've fallen out with my mates because of it and people think I'm crazy but hey listen there's no difference to them saying to you you need to take the vaccine to go on holiday exactly. and that's what's coming next uh -huh. do you know what I mean freedom yeah so yeah. Um, yeah so I've been reflecting on the whole travelling thing I was like huh did I somehow know that I needed to go travelling as soon as possible uh, or as, as soon as I could, because you knew we, don't know, we don't know when we're going to go again. No. Do you know what I mean? As, at least not in the way I went. We need to find someone who's got a plane. Yeah. I'm in the process. I found a pilot. Yeah. I've got air stewardesses. Are you going to be one? Um, I'd probably be no good at it. I'd end up know. throwing stuff on people. Just <laughs> clumsy. Um. <laughs> Would you like it? <laughs> you Would you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. So we just need to find a plane, okay? So <laughs> we've got everything but the plane. That's the, We can come, the plane, we can build one. The Wright brothers did it. We can do it. Oh, like, well, there we go then. <laughs> and then it goes to the whole flying thing. You want to fly. I'm trying to learn to fly. Maybe this is what the calling is. Maybe it is. Let's master that skill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Mask of flight. It doesn't mean we need wings. <laughs> no. But if we can build a plane or get a uh -huh. plane, then we can fly wherever we want. Exactly. Let's I make mean, it happen. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into the conversation, but I feel like I'm right. I feel like you are. Yeah. Let's make it happen. <laughs> I'm on it. Because I was saying to my parents, I was like, whoever provides the service of you know, an airline that doesn't require all this bs it's gonna make a mint mm -hmm. if they like if they can do it where it's affordable for normal people like they're gonna kill it of course you know they I mean? are. we're all itching to fly away but yeah. i'm the same as you like i will i refuse i've never worn a mask since the beginning of this the only time yeah, i have yeah. is when i was doing a bit of sanding and even then i was like i'd rather breathe in the sawdust because um, <laughs> you, you do don't you when yeah, you do stuff just, like that you're just like ah, fuck the mask it doesn't feel right yeah. does it so yeah no i just won't do it yeah good good stubborn it's not just even stubborn it's it's Taurus. Yeah. Raging bull. Yeah. Your <laughs> Libra. Libra. Yeah. I remember. Justice. That's it. Mm, yes. <laughs> Justice and balance. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, it's not even being stubborn. It's just, it's your boundaries. It's who you are as a person. And why yeah. should you have to give that up for anyone else? And people are like, oh, why don't you just wear a mask to go to the sea? But why don't you just wear a mask to go on holiday? Like, 
if you don't believe in these things, why should why you? Why should you? Yeah. And it's as simple as that. It's not being stubborn. It's not putting a wall up. It's not being difficult as people will try and tell you you're being. Yeah. It's literally, this is what I believe in. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to tell me otherwise. No. I understand what you're saying, but that ain't the life I'm living. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Like it, it. It's as simple as. It is. Definitely. It's as simple as. Like, if you, if you believe you're going to breathe in the air and die. <laughs> but... Go ahead. I've been hugging, kissing and loving people since day dot. And you know what? I'm still living and breathing and so is everyone else around me. Yeah. And do you know what? This is another point I wanted to make to people because everyone's on a power trip. When I was in magistrate courts, when was it? Last a couple of weeks ago. I walked in there yeah, without yeah, yeah. a mask into the magistrate's court. Not an issue. Yeah, I walk into Asda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Everyone's like... Hell breaks loose. <laughs> um, have you not got a mask? No. Oh, well, I've got one here. Don't you understand? No, I'm right. no, I don't. I'm not wearing <laughs> no. one. But if I go into the magistrate courts, even the ma nobody mm. in the court, I think one person in the courtroom had a mask on. So it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys, get off your high horse. But everyone's on power trip at the moment. That's it. It's like the people. It's the same with the police anyway. But that's another topic. But the people mm. that haven't had like any power or authority have been given. Given this like staff of oh I get to tell people what to yeah. do and they're like running away with it and I'm like mate like no disrespect to your job but like, you stand on a door letting people wear out and you're telling me what to do like fuck off <laughs> yeah. like sorry like my mum and dad can't tell me what to do who thinks you can exactly. do you know what I mean I don't exactly. listen to anyone and then they tell you you have to go a certain way so I'm just like I'm oh, moonwalk <laughs> out the like, the exit or the entrance I always go the wrong way just yeah. on purpose yeah so yeah I'm like, yeah <gasps> I've just been in that way. Is it going to get me if I go that way? I love it. And then they look at it and they, you get them thinking. They're like, oh, yeah. So you got to have fun with it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. Stuff. I literally, like, I'm so glad you said that. I was coming out the train station at um, a Bolton and they've got like, go oh, this way no. and go down that way on the stairs. So I, I was there. I was going to take a video of it, but I just didn't bother because <laughs> I was in a rush. Um, but I was just like, right, so here I'm not allowed, but here I am. Yeah. I was like, this is just redundant. This is rule is redundant. Do it's you know what I mean? It's crazy how they're not just like putting two and two together. It's like, right, so I can come in this way and it's not going to get me. But yeah, if yeah. I go out that way, it's going to get me. <laughs> okay. It's like, okay, like when does the brain, Yeah. you know. So I, I'm really bad now at Asda because they've put these big ball up. Because I started going out the, um, out exit in through the entrance yeah 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 and they put these big bollards up and i was like they're still not stopping me so i literally went into us this morning jump over the barriers and before <laughs> they can they're too far away and they look at the like i'm like <laughs> you just can't stop you can't you can't contain you out, like i can't help myself yeah. that's what you gotta just, do um but this there's a reason why i was in that actually <laughs> okay <laughs> i go I sure. love your hair, Paris. I love it. And I've always wanted to. I love afros. Like yeah, my yeah, little yeah. sister had curly hair when she was little and I used to call her Afro baby. But I've got a task for you. Okay. <laughs> Do <Don't. laughs> I'm going to see how many pencils you can stick in your afro. <laughs> do I look pretty? You do. You look like a good rainbow. <laughs> It feels really nice. It's like a head massage. It feels like, you know when someone puts their hands in your head? That's how it feels. I'm a bit disappointed, actually. <laughs> You're good. Oh, have you got a pencil? Yeah. I <laughs> Where did you get these from? They're all like... I got them from Asda this morning when I was uh, oh, yeah, scooching through the... Uh, <laughs> exiting through the entrance. <laughs> so... Where, where did you get this idea that you wanted to put either clips on my face or... <laughs> Pencils just, in there. I like to spice things up, so. Oh, okay. And I was thinking about pegs, but I've done pegs myself and it is painful. Right. Yeah, I think I got about 30 on my face once. Right. It's like having Botox, but without the needles. <laughs> um, <laughs> we used to do it, challenge ourselves on the holiday park because they'd make us do these challenges. What, Botox? No, <laughs> no I won't Botox. touch that stuff. Um, but they used to challenge us at the holiday parks. we play a game show and then... You'd score points doing stuff with the kids and then yeah, at the yeah. end you had to go head to head and they made us do some horrific stuff. Like I had to drink some horrible things and eat some horrible stuff and stick things on my face and do so I, I was just like, what? It, it sounds like these holiday parks are kind of like 
similar to if you did like a season in MAGA or Napa or something yeah. like that. That's not what oh, vibe yeah. I'm kind of getting. <laughs> It doesn't sound very, like, tame at all. No, no, no. We knew we are tough, especially backstage. If there was a video of us all backstage, oh, yeah. Ah, the, yeah, the, the parents wouldn't be too happy about it. No, I don't think they would. But, yeah, I, like, I just like to have a bit of fun, and I love afros, and I've always, on nights out, every time I've seen some of an afro, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to put something in it and see if they notice. And nine times out of ten, yeah. they normally do it, and I'm there with a the straw, and they're looking me, and I'm like, no, do you know what? On, on Saturday, um, you asked me, you was like, oh, can I touch your hair? And I was like, yeah, go on. <laughs> like, I really appreciate that because some people, like, just put their hands in your hair and, yeah. like, I'm just like, what are you doing, guys? Like, just, like ask and you can do it. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, I remember I was in this club once and this, this girl touched my hair, but, like, she pulled it. So I turned Whoa. around and I was like, I looked at her and I just, I grabbed her hair and pulled it and she pushed me. And she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, you just did the same thing to me. And she, like, her face was just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just didn't get it at all. Yeah, and I was just like, I no, feel violated. Don't touch my hair. You know what I mean? Oh, well, you... well, I just thought I had yeah. to play. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks good on you, though. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can do something with your hair one day. <laughs> maybe. We'll put, that can be date number five. <laughs> Hairdressing, salon with carrots. <laughs> nice. How long have you grown your hair for? Because it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, gosh, I don't know because I just cut it myself. You know, I get. They're just, just. Is there a way to just it? Just give like... it a cheeky trim. I actually did it on because somebody told me if you cut your hair on the full moon, yeah, it will grow more. Really? And then if you cut it on the new moon, it won't. So if you want to get a wax, uh, wax on the new moon, and then you, it's yeah, not going to yeah. grow back fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then if you want your hair to grow, cut it on the new yeah. uh, on the on full, full moon. moon. Yeah. Huh. So. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like you really need your hair to grow anymore. Did you want it any longer than I that? Don't always. Yeah. 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 Um, See, I can't remember last time. Years ago. Probably about 10 years ago, I last had it cut. So would you have it like down to the floor if mm, you could? Maybe not like that. I'd probably be stunned. I'd, trip on it oh. wouldn't I um but ankles maybe just a little bit longer about another what two inches why not how I bet your hair's really long yeah yeah it's yeah long. not as long as yours but we'll get there it's cool I love it thank you you do all sorts with it yeah do you ever hide stuff in your afro like save it for later or? I mean I might have I might have you know hid some sweeties from time to time in my oh. hair. um because yeah I've not, I get searched everywhere else but my hair and it's like it's a perfect place to yeah. keep something. When I when I realise that stuff stays in my hair, because <laughs> what you can do is like, especially even with bandanas, I usually just put them in here and stuff. But you can bury it right in. Obviously, with pencils, you can kind of see it because they're big. But obviously, when you're putting smarties in your hair, or whatever else, mm, they're not gonna see that. No, no, no. It's just I just walk in. I'm like, yeah, mate, do your thing. I'm just like, here you go. <laughs> Do you know I mean? And you find it later on, like, oh, forgot about that. <laughs> How amazing. Having a shower and this, like, pink something just comes down my face. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can happen. It can happen. It can definitely happen. Okay. What would be the name of your debut album? Oh, shit. The name of my debut al album? Yeah. If you could name an album after yourself. I don't know, you go first. Mm. <laughs> Mine would be something like Loose Cannon or Firecracker. Mm. Something like that. See, I think mine I've been, I've been sitting on I've been sitting on this for like my DJ name for a bit and yeah. also that like maybe my first album or a song or something. I just know this is kind of it. But um my nickname's Pow. Uh -huh. P O W uh, okay. my, to like my parents. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. it's uh Pow Wow, like my mum and dad and my brother call me Pow Wow. Uh, oh, Pow Wow. <laughs> Again, no one knows that one. It's like the shit thing. I don't tell people it. Uh, but it's out in the open now. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll call it Pow because it's my nickname, but also P O W, Prisoner mm. of War. Ooh, you know like saying? that. Yeah. So it actually came to me Pow. last week. So I was like, oh, yeah, that, oh, that works. Little play on word pun. Mm. DJ Pal is in the house. <laughs> Actually, could it, like, are you doing like proper live sets now? Like, are you going out there gigging, uh, doing all that? Yeah, I suppose when I can. Mm. Will you be free on my birthday? When's your birthday? I can't give you the date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Message me. And 
I'll, we, I'll live stream it for you. Okay. Yeah. You You're can... available for hire, basically. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's I'll... get a party planned. Uh, yeah, perfect. What type of music do you like? Anything, me. I will. What do you like to dance to? I love, I love 80s music. I love, I do like a bit of trance, dance. Yeah. Soul. Anything. Mm. Absolutely anything. I would dance to it. I'll find okay. something to dance to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Let's like make that, that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. yeah because I'm, I'm gonna start doing like lives as well on insta i've got like my office which isn't my office anymore mm -hmm. i turn it into my dj room but i've got this massive sign um one of them neon thingies nice and i'm gonna tell you what it says it's the same sentence four times i'm gonna tell you what it says ready start a revolution oh of course damn so that's like my centerpiece. I'm gonna nice. Have that. I'm gonna have like soulful bangers. Yep. Um, totally game for that. Like you said earlier, music is where it is at. It is. It's a frequency. Yeah. Everything is, yeah, is yeah, music, yeah. and yeah, it's beautiful. Literally, yeah. people stop, and they, you can see the kids. It's like so you you know it's good when the kids they'll just stop, yeah. and then they start going like this. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, yeah. come on. And they all just people just stop and smile yeah, and yeah, stare yeah. and then they ask you and they're like they're like we do it all like all the time come join us yeah. come join us and it's just pure love expression and literally dancing to your beat and to me the the frequency of the earth is Gaia's heartbeat mm. and we are fixing that because she is in like transition right yeah, now yeah, we are yeah, healing yeah. her we are healing ourselves yeah 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 and it is all about the music it so is. drum. Drum to your beat, sing your song. Thanks everyone for watching. We hope you have a great week. And we'll see you again very soon. Shalom. 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 Thank you.